After a long trip, the team prepare to get catching snakes. It's gonna be wet and bumpy. Yeah, so just pack everything to go. Yeah. They are being taken out on the water by local biologist, Katie Chartrand. You all right, Skipper? Tonight, they are after one species in particular, the beaked sea snake. And this could be a mission impossible. In Australia, beaked sea snakes are very rare, but it's worth the effort. Their venom is highly prized. It can be used to treat multiple species bites. The venom from the beaked sea snake seems to have all the components that you can find in other types of sea snake species. That means that if you produce an anti-venom against the beak sea snake venom, you can use it for any bite for any sea snake species from anywhere in the world. The beaked is number one on the team's venom shopping list, but it's also number one on the death charts. The beak sea snake causes more deaths than any other sea snake in the world. Ready. Richard and Jamie are hunting snakes at dark for a reason. Okay, yeah. back to the current line and up the current yeah. line. Sea snakes must come to the surface to breathe. At night, they can spend more time floating on the water, less chance of being eaten by birds of prey. Yeah, when they come up, they almost look knotted when you see them at night, rather than sitting up like normal. But the scientists aren't alone in the water. Oh, look, croc ice. This is part of the problem of working up here. Not only, oh, he's dived now, but... They've spotted the reflective eyes of a man-eating crocodile. He's not gone under. Not only do you have problems with sea snakes, but there's swamp geckos or crocodiles. And that's one, that's probably, he's probably only 50 metres from the boat, so... No, he's, he's gone, gone now, he's, he's gone, gone yeah. All right. The crocodile is playing hide and seek with the scientists. Richard must be extra vigilant against an attack. Crocs have been known to pull people from their boats. Dramas are working in the north. There's one. No, no. Crocs or no crocs, there's snakes to catch. Got him, Rich. Bingo. Gee, that's a little oh, one. A snarly little bugger. Got him. Yep. Magic. It's a juvenile sea snake and it's got attitude to match. He's biting. Deadly fangs filled with venom. A solid wet bite, and you may be yeah, in for a long, good. slow death. It's hard to identify when they're that small. Okay, uh, chuck him in here. Well, it's not a beak, so it's one down. So basically, we're gonna take that one back now and we'll milk that one. It's not the beak sea snake that we're after, but I'm always after venom anyway. See, it's just on sunset and they've started. They've bagged their first snake, but it's not a beaked. So far, oh, go, not good. 10 metres, 8 metres, okay, five. To the right a bit, Stop, to the pull right. up, pull up, Katie, pull up. Got him, Rich. Woohoo! Well, another one straight ahead. Keep coming straight ahead, Katie. Straight ahead. And got him. That's two. Oh. Two and one go. Woohoo! And they're still not beaks, though, buddy. And car, hands, hands. No, I think it's the same one. It's just a juvenile. It's just got the same patterns, but. It's, um. Yeah. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. The markings are a lot stronger on the juveniles. On the juveniles, yeah. Ooh, geez. What's your oh. finger? Remember, they will go through the gloves. I yeah, know. You want to open the lid? Oh, God. Honestly. Working with you is like a time bomb, isn't it? They may sound like an old married couple, but there's no argument. This place is full of snakes. Yeah, not a... Yeah, starboard, starboard. Oh, yes! Yeah, got him! Touchdown! Crowd goes wild. But still, none of the prized beak species. It may just be too rare a snake in these parts to use for anti-venom. And... Guess what? Same Same species. Right. Katie, straight ahead. On your right. Out again. Here come. Out, out again. Stop. Out again. Stop. Wow. Oh, that's a big one. Different species. The horn, the horn the headed. The horn headed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. You can actually see. Yeah, the little horns on his head. For such killers, these are very placid animals. Unlike land snakes, sea snakes have a paddle tail, which means out of the water, they're far less agile and able to strike. There's one, there's one straight up ahead, Katie. And bingo! Yeah, it's not a beak. It's not a beak. We need a beak. Richard and Jamie spot and scoop snakes for over an hour. Their bucket may be full. Those are Aslatophus. Yeah. But without a beaked sea snake, this is one mission impossible that just self-destructed. I mean, there's no shortage of them here, but it's the wrong species. So, uh, we put him in there.